Hello everyone, Dr. Kimball here. I am about to start a new series of Hope You Find Interesting, Spine 101 Education for the Everyday Joe about your back and your neck. So this is gonna be my first uh, topic that I'm gonna cover and uh, we're gonna go over sciatica. Um, lots of people feel sciatica or have this syndrome or symptom throughout their life. You're gonna have it if you haven't had it. Most likely you do because you're listening to this video right now. So you kind of know what I'm talking about. Sciatic pain usually begins in the low back and radiates down into one or both of the legs. That's the easiest way to describe it. Most patients will describe it as somewhat of a, it can vary, but aching, uh, it can be electrical, it can be um, feel like you have a, a a muscle strain or you just ran a marathon um, most of the time it's it's some sort of pulling or pinching that's going down the leg now the sciatic nerve is not just one nerve okay so the nerve roots when they leave your spinal column and they exit out toward the leg and you know provide innervation and uh, to all the muscles and uh, sensory feedback to all the areas of the leg and the foot um, the nerves leave one at a time, but then they combine and form specific nerves. So there's the femoral nerve, the sciatic nerve. So we, we generally refer to any pain from these lumbar nerve roots as they're traveling down the leg to be sciatic pain. Okay, so it's not just one nerve, it's many nerves. And you can't just um, uh, say there's one cause because that nerve getting pinched at any one of these different roots at the place where they leave the spinal canal, which is pretty much the most common spot. That's the, the most at risk location for a nerve to be pinched. But there are other areas along the course of these nerves before they join, after they join, um, further down into the muscle um, or in the leg or the foot where they can also be pinched. And so you can have sciatic pain from any sort of nerve irritation in any one of those locations. So the most common type of sciatic pain comes from the most common type of impingement of one of these lumbar nerve roots, which would occur at and around the spinal canal from a bulging disc or some sort of arthritis in the spine that is pinching or limiting the uh, transmission of the nerve signals along this soft um, nervous structure, okay? Uh, that's the most common cause of sciatic pain. Another reason people can have sciatic pain that you, you'll read a lot about on the internet and, and a lot of physical therapists and chiropractors like to talk a lot about this is something called piriformis syndrome. Uh, piriformis syndrome exists. It's very real. The great thing about it is you can fix it without surgery and without an injection usually. And it really is basically the sciatic nerve getting pinched between a couple of really tight muscles. So the great thing about piriformis syndrome, if you have it, is you can fix it with some stretching. Okay. But I will tell you that the prevalence or incidence of uh, piriformis syndrome is it, it, it's only responsible for you know one to maybe four percent of all uh, all comers that have sciatic leg pain so if you have sciatic leg pain statistically you probably don't have piris, piriformis syndrome it's it's an easy thing to, to look into and to to fix uh, with some guided physical therapy or even some maybe home physical therapy and stretching so that's a great thing. Um, but if you don't get relief from those stretches or that therapy, then chances are it's from something else. That could be from a, a pinched nerve in your back. Um, the sciatic nerve or these other lumbar nerve roots that make up the sciatic nerve can be pinched in other areas in, in, in the leg. Those are more peripheral nerve impingement syndromes um, from some sort of ligamentous compression at and around the knee. That's, that's very uncommon, it, it, it does happen, but it's usually not why people have sciatic pain. Um, as I mentioned before, it's usually from a pinched nerve in the back. The one thing I do wanna mention is something that I would, I would describe in my practice as um, pseudo radiculopathy or pseudo uh, nerve impingement. It's not a real nerve impingement. It's re really related to back muscle spasms. So sometimes people will throw their back out and, and they don't actually have a pinched nerve and their back muscles are so tight 
and irritated that they end up having nerve type pain at the same time, those patients, you could do an MRI scan of their back and look for a bulging disc or nerve uh, impingement or, or treat them for um, that and, and they won't get better because the primary problem really is the muscles and the muscles are overactive and are locked up and the patient's starting to have this, this almost a ghost-like uh, nerve impingement type syndrome. So that you would not treat with um, surgery, you would not treat with an injection, you might really focus on a, a therapy geared at getting those back muscles to calm down. Now, your next question might be, well, why does my back lock up in the first place? That's a great question. That's gonna lead into our second topic, which is around why does my back hurt?